Hello everyone and welcome back to the WSO2 API Manager series. This video will help you to build a 100% open source version of WSO2 API Manager version 4.1 to adopt the community version of API Manager pack. So let's begin the session. Here is the quick agenda for today's session. We'll check it about the requirement, prerequisites, building API Manager pack followed by a live demonstration. So what are the key requirements for adopting a 100% open source version? So let's say an organization have investment constraints and can't proceed with the subscription model. If you would like to use the product 100% free of charge. If you are a developer or a small scale organization and would like to use the product for a longer term without investment on subscription and solely rely on the community support. And if you would like to contribute to the community so these are the options with the help of that or based on that you can choose for the 100% open source version of WSO2 product. Although these facilities are available but it's recommended to use the product support for production environments. So here are some of the prerequisites before we proceed for the building the pack. So the first is we should have the source code for API manager version 4.1. We can download it from the official GitHub repository of WSO2. Next, we can have we must have Maven installed in our client machine. We can download the Maven from this link. Next, we must have Java 8 or Java 11 installed in the client machine. Next, we must set the environment variables to support running of the Maven commands. So we must set the Java home and the Maven to be included in the path variable of your machine. Next, how we should build the pack. So once we have downloaded the zip file, we should extract the same and we must navigate to the root directory of the product source code and below are the maven commands that we can use to build the pack. So the first option comes with MVN clean install which builds the pack followed by running the test cases. This process takes too much time to build the pack. Next, MVN clean install and we can skip the testing the unit test cases to build our pack rapidly. Next, the binary and the source distributions without running any of the unit test cases in offline mode and this can be done only if you have built the source code at least once. So once we have uh, built the, the pack, this is can be identified or this can be located inside the, the, the product uh, home modules distribution target directory from where you have executed the maven command and you can download the same for the redistribution purpose. Now let's begin the demo. Yeah. So as mentioned uh, in our uh, slides, we'll first uh, download the source code. So we'll copy the same and we'll open the browser, we'll navigate to the link. Okay, so we'll go down below and uh, here we have uh, the zip package, we'll just click on this. The zip file basically downloads all the, uh, the source code of uh, WSO2 API Manager version 4.1. We'll wait for a while. Okay, so the pack has been downloaded successfully. So this is the pack that has been downloaded. The next step is to uh, use the maven command to build the pack. So we'll open to the terminal window and uh, we'll go to the downloads folder and then WS2 EPM. No, it's uh, basically the product. Okay, then we do an ls. Okay, so now let's see uh, the version of Java. Okay, so we have Java 1.8 installed. Let's say the Maven version. So we have Maven installed with 3.94. Okay, so now we'll use the Maven build command. So kindly note that we are not going to run the test cases, which is a unit test cases of uh, the 
same so we'll see what's the command we should be using we'll be using a min clean install dpmn test escape is equal to true we'll just enter it here and just wait for a moment to run the maven command to build the package so as you can see the maven has started executing but it has turned into some sort of error it's saying that no compiler is provided in this environment perhaps you are running a gre rather than the jdk okay so if we see clearly uh, in the maven minus v version so it is pointing to the java Abler plugin contents home which is basically the jre directory of rather than the jdk so this is the reason uh, that uh, this is failing to proceed further i have already created a blog on this particular issue so let me take you through the blog so we will do a live fixing of this particular issue so this is the article which i have written on my blog okay so the same thing uh, which we have seen over here so what we have to do we have to set the java home to overcome this issue so before that we can check it out what all java versions are available we'll just uh, clear the screen we just check this so we can see there are two java versions available so we have to actually point it out to this uh, java to my maven so that this should execute correctly okay so we'll be using so we will be just exporting the java home to libxc okay done now we will again again the uh, maven minus v command so now this is pointing to jdk 1.8 as opposed to the previous section where it was pointing to the maven home so to a different uh, directory basically okay so now we are good to proceed uh, turning the maven command okay now let's proceed usually the process takes some time to build your package uh, basically the the binary pack so that you can use that binary pack for the installation of the product as a fully open source version of wc2 api manager also the same pack can be used to build the docker images you can push it to your respective repository it could be a local or the remote repository that would be treated as the fully compliant as an open source version of wc2 api manager kindly note that this pack is completely owned by you because it, it has been created by you only so if you face any issue any challenges so you are solely responsible and you can reach out to community support using the discord channel using the stack overflow okay so the you can you can post your queries and you can get the response from respective community members the community is very active and uh, they are proactively responding to the queries posted on respective channels so as you have seen that now we have fixed the issue of the jdk uh, support and now the process has been proceeding through so usually it takes some time so as you can see uh, we are getting the success message we'll wait for a while till the process gets completed so once the process gets completed uh, we'll get the zip package available within the same directory there is a specific location that we will navigate so i'm not skipping this video because i would like you to see each and every step uh, you may definitely uh, fast forward uh, this particular section in the in the video whenever you are watching but this will give you a confidence that the process has executed seamlessly and you are able to generate the binary pack which is a fully open source So meanwhile let me take you to the uh, directory where all this process is going on so this is the directory where we have downloaded the pack and uh, we have to go to the modules directory then we'll go to the distribution then we'll go to the product 
and inside product there will be a folder that will be generated here called as a target inside the target there will be the binary packs will be available so let's wait till the process gets completed i have been following all these steps in my macintosh machine however the process remains same for the linux as well as the windows machine the installation of respective prerequisites like java and uh, maven is required in respective operating system so you have to complete all those steps as a prerequisite and you have to fix related issues in case you encounter the process is running seamlessly that the process of building the pack okay so it's taking some time so it takes usually 10 minutes around 10 minutes to build the pack so please be patient while the process is running so do not terminate or do not press ctrl c at any point of time and let the process running you can continue your rest of the work in parallel but let the process running as it is in case you face any issue or you encounter any issue please post your queries uh, or the the issues over the chat over the link uh, in the in the video itself and i will try to address the same as soon as possible So you can see that the same JDK is used to run different different sections, different different commands. That's, so that's the reason it was getting failed in the beginning, and it was uh, asking for respective Java JDK to be available to run uh, respective commands for uh, building the pack. Okay, so we have seen a lot of success messages. So it will show you some of the warning messages so you can check it and you can ignore those messages so you can see now the building of the zip has started So you can see these are the number of steps total 38 steps are there so you can see the trace of those particular uh, the the steps that how many steps are succeeded and how many steps got failed or got struck So lot of success messages and we can see the we are just close to completing the steps like 29 of 38 has succeeded 30 of 38 got succeeded
so we are very close now 33 of 38 So now we are very close, 37 of 38, 38 of 38. Mm. And there we go. So the build success message we have received and now let's validate the pack which is supposed to be developed or which should be generated. Yes, we should go in the target and here we go. AM410.zip. So that's how this pack has been generated now let's verify this pack we'll copy this pack we'll go to the download directory we'll copy the pack here we'll extract the same and we'll see whether all the artifacts of the api manager are available so it has been yes so we can see that all the artifacts as we receive the binary pack from the official wc2 api manager uh, the link to download the same and the same is available here apart from this there are some other zip also available like the documentation as well as the sample scenario so thank you very much and that's all for this demo so thank you very much for your time and stay tuned for my upcoming hands-on lab exercise on wso2 api manager you can refer to my blog links and useful contents uh, on official wso2 api manager documentation and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for upcoming videos and hit the bell icon to get the latest notification of my videos